Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tineke Rensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Hi there, everybody. I'm so excited to welcome you to our second edition of the Power of Women in Business talk show. And today I have a very special guest who is really excited to uh, share all her tips and tricks about how she does business internationally with you. So let me introduce her. Her name is Wendy Broersen and she's from the Netherlands. And Wendy has two companies and she loves women. She founded Super Women Academy in 2016 and is operating internationally since the beginning of this year, 2018. Super Women Academy helps companies to attract, retain and develop their female workforce. She has a team of 38 expert trainers and consultants of five nationalities. And she has two children, loves skiing, traveling, movies and art. Wendy, welcome. How are you today? Fine, and so nice to be here. Thank you. Good. So um, I'm really keen on asking you some questions because I am very sure that you have a lot of experience to share. Even though you started to do business in 2018 internationally, you've been doing business as a woman in the women arena already for a long time. So um, I'm curious, why have you decided to expand your business internationally? Well, first of all, why not? I, I love thinking big. Um, something I, I found out that a lot of women sort of are hesitant to do so, but it is really nice to think big. Um, and second of all, Holland, the Netherlands is really small. So if you want to do big things, you cannot stay in the Netherlands because, like I said, it's really small. And um, second, or maybe third, I should say, is that um, I really like traveling and I really like meeting other people from other cultures. And I know that what I'm doing with my company is, is most wanted and most needed in all countries so i decided to take that step about a year ago i started yeah wow so so you say is you you feel that women should think bigger and that's uh, that's one of the things you said why yeah. why is that so important for you yeah i i, I found out that um through research and uh, reading research uh, that a lot of women tend to be a bit hesitant to think big and um, and that's one of the reasons why although they're better starters than men um, they're usually not as good in growing their companies and um, and I had the luck or the fortune to have a couple of people around me that uh, didn't say why do you want to grow they only said um, the bigger the better oh wow and, uh, this is my message to all you female entrepreneurs that are watching. Um, why not? Yeah, but I, I also hear that it's important that you have support. Apparently you had support that challenged you and not questioned you. Is that true? Yeah, that is so true. Yeah. Um, the reason why a lot of people aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing or what they want to do is because the people around them um, question every step they take. Mm. And I don't know about you, but I am really good at questioning all the steps that I'm taking. I don't need people around me that um, <laughs> keep me from taking another step. 
it is nice to have people around you that are, are good in, in, you know, on other topics or in, um, or I'm not one of those red or orangey people. If you have any notion of, of our personality checks and, um, uh, so I tend to surround myself with uh, green and blue people because uh, numbers is just not my thing. And um, this way we all contribute to yeah. to the, the ideas that I have. Yeah. But um, saying I can't do something or I shouldn't do something usually makes me want to do it even more. Good. And I think you mentioned something uh, that you said I can question myself already, so I don't need other people to do that. And I think, yeah, you are in good company because I can do that. And I think this is typical what we women do. So I doubt if we should listen to that voice, but that's another conversation. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit more, because um, you, you are expanding internationally uh, now. Um, how do you expand and what is your st uh, strategic uh, what strategic decisions do you make, or what is your strategy? Well, um, obviously, I look at the market into and, and the country that I wanted to expand to. But uh, for my company, it's a no-brainer that women need help anywhere in the world. So um, I could basically choose any country that I wanted to expand to. Uh, for me, it was easier to do it either in a, a country that speaks English, because um, that's no problem for me. And I also speak fluent German. Mm -hmm. So those are the two countries that I decided on expanding to. Mm -hmm. And the next thing, obviously, is that you need somebody in the field. You need somebody in that country that knows the culture, the way to do business. Um, you could be an advisor, but in my case, I, I'm not. I actually have people in the field working for me and um, yeah that worked best for me actually mm -hmm. yeah. so, so so you you are looking for people in the country who you can work together with would yes. you say that would yeah. be a business partner or how do you subscribe that well, no not really um, they they um, profit from the profits that we make mm -hmm. so uh, we made it, uh, a contract, and a, a good one, an extensive contract. Yeah. <laughs> one of my tips. Good. Make sure that you nail everything down legally. Uh, but then um, it's people that uh, uh, are working in the field for me. If they don't work, they don't get any money. But if they do, they earn a lot of money. So this is the way that I like working best because in that way, the company is part theirs. And they profit immediately when 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 they bring in revenue. Mm -hmm. And even if I'm bringing in revenue, they profit immediately. Yeah. So uh, that's I think a healthy way to to look at things. And you get really motivated people that way. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. So so that would be another tip. Don't be stingy. If you no. want to have good people, give a generous fee, and yeah, then they will frugal. work. Um, and 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 what I generally do is. Um, ask myself if uh, this would be a fee that I would be willing to Yeah, I like that question. And if it's too low, I wouldn't be willing. And also, I make sure that they get money for what they're doing and they are not hindered or their money doesn't become less um, when I try when I in invest in other countries or when I decide to you know, do bonuses or do um, uh, meetings with my trainers, all that kind of costs and money will go from my part, not theirs. Okay, interesting. Um, they do have yeah. a say in where I spend the money, but they don't. it doesn't come out of their profit. Mm -hmm. Wow, good. It's healthy. And so you don't employ these people? No. You have a joint ventureship or something? It's sort of like a franchise but yeah, in a different way. There's there's more than one ways of doing that yeah. nowadays, and um, they call them here in Holland. They call them trade partner partners. But I do know that it's 
called differently in some other countries. Yeah, well, that's 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 an, a, a thing I would like to uh, just just add some comments of my own experience uh, with. I also have a similar construction. Eh? And uh, if you want to start working with various partners in various countries, franchise seems to be a very interesting concept, but you need to have contracts and, and know all the tax uh, uh, regulations of that country uh, and that can be very difficult so um, yeah i also have the strategy of working with trade partners in other countries and always always have the contract under your own law yeah that's a good one yeah um, actually my lawyer taught me that yeah but, um, if you don't have a savvy lawyer um, and then you're you're basically screwed. Mm. So you don't want that. And my tip is get an international lawyer. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You really yeah, need good. a lawyer that knows his stuff, not only in your country, uh, but also international law and in the uh, by law the, the the people that you want to work with in those countries. Because although it might be okay for your um, uh, country, if it's against the laws in that country. Uh, you still don't have a chance in, no, in, no. Uh, in, in court. So, wow, yeah, thank you. Make sure yeah. that you get a lawyer that knows his or her stuff. And you would say it's definitely worth spending the high rates of a good lawyer. Yes, it but is. if you have a really good lawyer. <laughs> good. Uh, okay. You just make a deal and say, hey, I need, need contracts for these countries and these people and um, and 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 the way that I do it, I always set a set fee. So if he does it, it's a he in this case. So if he does it in two hours, that's his benefit. And if he does it in five, it's not on my account. Good. I like that. So it's you nego really nice, negotiate. Yeah, it's a really nice deal. Yeah, yeah good. Very well. So uh, going back to your uh, partners, uh, your representatives in the various countries where you work. Um, what are your criteria? How do you choose them? And what lessons have you learned? Oh, I learned a lot of lessons, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult to find the right person. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I would say you have to like him. Um, yeah. And trust your gut on this. Because if your gut is, or your intuition, I should say, which is more lady like. Yeah, well, gut feeling. This. But um, if you trust your intuition, you usually know the things or the parts where it probably won't fit as good. So, and that could be a good thing. Like I said, I try to surround myself with people that are not like me because usually that's then you, you're more a complete team, yeah. as they say. And make sure or that you enter um, the first conversations with the right mindset and also with the right expectations. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that went wrong is that I communicated my expectations and I probably didn't do it in the right way or she didn't get it. And that made my first deal fall through because um, the more we went on this road to, and of working together, um, those expectations uh, didn't match anymore and then you well then you just have to part ways yeah and how, how did you do that because that's I, I in my opinion that's not easy for women to do because we no, we, we really tip. want to have good relationships yeah well my tip is stick to the business part mm -hmm. um, I, I really love people women in particular but yeah. <laughs> I really love people. Oh, I love my husband as well. <laughs> but um, I really love people, but it is business. And a business, a, a good relationship starts with their rules of engagement, as they say. Mm. Uh, so if you set those and agree upon them and you sort of set them in stone, if you like, um, then it's it's way easier to, to have a good relationship with somebody. And if you feel it's going the wrong way, which happened to be twice, which is okay. Um, but um, if, if, if you feel it, it's moving into towards the direction you don't want to go, I mean, it's your company. 
Yeah. So I don't know about you, but I started my company, well, the first one and the second one, because I wanted to change the way normally people work mm. in these branches. Mm. And I wanted to do it differently. And I do not want to sway from that um, because then it wouldn't be my company anymore. Yeah. So I just try to uh, separate the emotions and business. And is that easy? That's difficult. Okay. <laughs> I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm not going to tell you that. But I know. <laughs> it's the way to go. And if you are in a conversation where it tends to get emotional, take a break. Mm. Order some coffee. Um, uh, talk about little things that don't have to do have anything to do with your business and then say well let's get back to the business and yeah. the facts and the figures exactly. because that's something there's you know you can't discuss about those are the facts mm. and then uh, usually on the other end especially when that's a woman as well uh, uh, there comes a business sense in this conversation and then it's okay good at the yeah. great, we want to part ways without um being mortal enemies after yeah yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's that's, that's important, uh, main, uh, especially for women. And and you know, the first time is always the hardest, don't you think? Yeah. Then you know, then you know it's not all that bad. Then you realize I should have done this earlier, and I have oh, already yeah. been damaging myself or my business or even the working relationship. And and then after that experience, it gets easier, don't you think? Well, what I realized after the first encounter of this kind. kind I um, realized that after it was done, I felt so much freedom yeah, and yeah. so much relief. Mm -hmm. And then all things started to flow again. Mm. And I was like, why haven't I done this before? Yeah. I should have done this months ago. So the second time when I was in a conversation like this, I focused on the feeling of relief and also the positive feeling that we actually both had after the first conversation and which made me help you know do the second conversation way way valuable it was way easier that yeah way. it's very very valuable information because this is a topic which i know of is very very difficult difficult for women breaking yeah. up relationships uh, getting rid of people who don't function uh, well enough. So I really like your tip. What well, you've eh, after your first experience, you experienced relief, you experienced freedom, but you also saw magic started to happen, yeah. as if you were rewarded for making this decision. Um, well, yeah, I, I firmly believe in that. It's you know, it's the universe giving you a sign that you're on the right track, and yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, just focus. Yeah. Focus yeah. on that feeling yeah. second, and try to hold on to that feeling and then the second time around it's way easier. Yeah. So I like what you do with your uh, business. Uh, you you want to help women in the, in the big corporate organizations. Uh, why is that so important to you? Well, I don't know about you, but I really dislike um, it when, when situations aren't fair. I don't think it's fair if women get less paid for the same job that they do as men. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when men are considered for um, for a promotion or a project um, when there's a lot of women that could have done that as well. Mm -hmm. Just because they're, the people that are deciding don't know how women are wired. I also don't like it when women are trying to be victims about mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. because I think you know if you have um, a disagreement um, the fault la lays on, on two sides you know it, it's just you have to make sure that men know that women think in a different way and react to, to things in a different way but also women can be tad reluctant to to move a bit to the men's side i don't want you to become a, a man in business a, because a masculine woman know those women and that's not very feminine and as you can see i'm a very feminine person but um 
I, I don't I don't like it when it when there is when it when it, when it isn't fair. I but yeah, I but but don't 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 you think uh, there's still a long way to go uh, because we don't have that many examples as women how to be feminine and successful because the, a lot of examples we see is the masculine way of being successful I, when it's in business or a workforce or well that's true but I must say it's it's changing rapidly yeah because you see people like Beyonce for instance who are are you know, oozing femininity and, and she still calls herself the boss, which is kind of cool. Um, but also you see a lot of um, um, change in leadership. Mm. Uh, you see a lot of feminine leadership coming on. In, my, in, in our I country. Uh, about that as yep, well. And, yep. um, um, it shows that there are more ways to lead and also um, it's very nice and good to see that a lot of women-led companies are doing better yeah. uh, in general um, not only in, in like numbers and profits but also in well-being of their employees and, and stuff like that so it is possible it's just not something we're used to so and it takes some time but I must say um, I'm very pleased to, to, yeah. to notice that it's going very fast which is good Good. Well, there's there's some. There anymore in twenty years, anyway. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, you, we we both live in the Netherlands, and uh, yeah, I do agree. Here, it's changing rapidly. I speak yeah. to many women in far in other countries. It's not a going that fast everywhere as it is here. Well, but we're a bit impatient. I mean, yeah. Wait, come on. yeah <laughs> keep mind. That's why we're business has, women. <laughs> it has been like that for yeah. centuries. Yeah. Yeah. But I must say, I'm very pleased to notice that it, it's moving in the right direction. Mm. And, and if I can help, um, fine. And, and then I hope to, to like being on this program, I hope to, to contribute to that. And, and if we would all help each other a bit more, exactly. a bit more sisterhood would be nice. Yeah. I always say, <laughs> if we, we all would practice sisterhood at least twice as much as we're doing now we, we are ruling the world in 10 years i so much agree and that's that's exactly why this talk show is on and i really want to address to all your women watching uh what would you i totally emphasize with what you uh, say and it's my vision uh, wendy that when there will be more women-led businesses or companies things will definitely change in the world and that's why I want to invite you and all the other women who are powerful and who do expand and, and have limitless beliefs and the possibilities. Um, yeah, I believe the, a lot is going to change. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wendy, you have a... a oh, excuse me. I, I'm so enthusiastic. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I wasn't paying attention to you. What, what did you say? Well, here by my request uh, to all you female entrepreneurs watching, yeah, is to the next time when you meet other female entrepreneurs, yeah, try to help them a bit, open up your network for them. I mean, men are doing this too with their um, old boys network. So it's time that we, you know, forge our own network and let's start here. That would be nice. Good. Thank you so much. When do you have a last question? You have been adding a lot to the topic, uh, the power of women in business and specifically doing business internationally. Is there anything you would like to ask this, this audience, the women who are watching now, or is there anything else you would want to mention or say? Well, um, I started uh, in the Netherlands where we have added this year two companies, uh, two countries to my company. And of course, I want to expand to other companies. So I'm always looking for a new business partner. So um, try to find my contact information and I would love to contact you. But in the spirit of sisterhood, I also have a blog and I would love to interview other, you know, prominent business women from all over 
Uh, so please come into contact and I would love to interview you and make sure that um, stories are told. Wow. Well, if you're listening and, and, and watching out, this is a perfect, uh, I know uh, Wendy's uh, blog. Uh, can, what, what's the name again? Superwomen? Superwomen Connected. Con uh, exactly. And um, I know you're still expanding, eh? so it will be you're sharing, eh? you interview them, you have a platform and you can build your platform bigger with all the women who are watching now and want to be uh, positioned on your uh, blog. Yeah, uh, it's my non-profit blog, it's, it's yeah. not a perfect thing, it's just something I really feel passionate about. Like you said, there's not too many role models out there and the more stories are told, yeah. the, better, totally you know, the better for everybody. So this is a really good invitation. The other thing, I want to give you a little bit more platform, Wendy. Can you describe what it is you are looking for the people you want to work with so that, it, so that they know, hey, okay, this is what I want to do. What do they need to be and have? Okay. Uh, um, well, we help companies to attract more women. And a lot of companies in tech, IT, construction, um, would like to get more women into their company, but don't know how to do that. So if you know a company that has few women working there, uh, please let me know because I, I, I'm, I'm sure I can help with tips and tricks to, to make sure that happens. And I can also help these companies to keep them because that is a bit of a problem. Most of the time uh, you see women either um, stay for one or two years and then um, lose hope and, mm, and, mm. and, and yeah. don't fit into the culture yeah. and that takes some time and also um, you see a lot of women uh, you know quit their job or do other things when they're around 30 35 mm -hmm. when they have children and um, and realize that the environment they're working on is is not really female friendly and so I would love to work with those women or those companies Okay, so, excellent. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and after the show, you might start expanding in other, other countries very quickly. So for everybody yeah. who wants to get in contact with Wendy, at the end of this video, you will see all her contact details. And do get in touch with her if you know a company where their, uh, her business can make a change. And definitely, if you have something to share with the world, go and contact her and you will be featured uh, in her blog uh, possibly. So Wendy, thank you so very much for your uh, contribution to this powerful talk show. And like your blog, this is for the same uh, vision. It's sharing tips and tricks with women in the world. And yeah, let's, let's do this ladies. Um, I said, well, you know, Tinika, thank you for, so much for this conversation. You know that I go through this very often. I only do this when, in, when I have something in common with the people on the other end. So um, let's move this sisterhood ahead. Hi there. At the end of my interview with, with uh, Wendy, something went wrong with the editing. So you see me in a different uh, appearance. But I want to let you know that all the details of Wendy will be at the end of this interview. So if you are interested in being featured on her blog, do continue watching until the end. Bye bye.